When we arrived at Larnaca Airport, I bought two bottles of whiskey from their duty-free shop. I've already reviewed the first and I'm still not a fan of the Accord. I keep trying, but it doesn't do it for me. So I'm keeping really positive thoughts about the second bottle, this Glen Grant 15. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Rips. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. If you're a returning uh, viewer, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm coming from Paphos today. If you're not sure why I'm in Cyprus and my wife's in Cyprus, check out the links below. We're full-time travelers now, and it makes these whiskey reviews a little more difficult, but also a little more interesting because I get to travel to different shops and figure out different products. This one specifically came from a duty-free shop in Larnaca, which we had to fly into. And I have good thoughts about it because it's cast strength. They say batch strength. Uh, it's 50% ABV. And that means it may have a little bit of hit and it may allow me to adjust a little bit with some water. So let me go ahead and pour it. And we can talk a little bit more about this. Glen Grant 15 Space Side Whiskey. The scotch is aged 15 years. It's their first edition single malt scotch. ABV is at 50%. I paid 74 euro for this one liter bottle at the Larnica Airport. Uh, the duty-free shop was well stocked with more whiskeys than I've seen in some of the other duty-free shops. Many of them just have the main street items. And I was actually able to look at and pick up a couple of unique bottles, to me at least. This whiskey is aged in first fill ex-bourbon casks and no sherry that I know of in the casking. There were some reviews that said there was because I think Glenn Grant uses sherry casks in a lot of their aging, but I didn't see any possibility of sherry being in this. Uh, it is non-chill filtered because it's at 50% ABV, and I think it's natural color. They don't say it is, and if it's been color adjusted, they've done some very, very, very little color adjusting because it is so very light for a 15-year whiskey that's in first fill uh, ex bourbon cast. This particular expression was distilled in 2004 and bottled in 2019. James Grant, also known as the Major, designed a still that is tall, slender, and then has a purifier built into the system. Whatever the design of this was, I'm looking forward to a smooth, fruity whiskey out of it. So let's not waste any time. Let me get into the nosing of this beautiful expression. Ooh, I do like the nose right off the bat. That is. It's very sweet, uh, like apples. I'm getting some grapes. The malty notes are mild, but they're there. And now I'm getting a little bit of citrus. Like an, like an orange rind. Ah, oh, it's a very nice nose. I'm very happy so far. Making me look forward to the taste. It is a very hot first taste which I would expect with this kind of ABV. And I'm getting some toffee flavors on the first taste. There's a little bit of that citrus. For me, a little bit of dark chocolate, especially on the finish, kind of lingering with a spicy dark chocolate finish. And I'm not sure what the fruit flavors are other than that. The spice for me is a lot of cinnamon, which is kind of covering up maybe some uh, cinnamon on some fruits, maybe some ah, peaches. I was getting apples so much in the nose. Now I can't get anything but the citrus nose. I'm also getting nuts. And I think smooth would be hard to use as an adjective for this, but I kind of can get there. You know what? I think I should add some water to this. Give me a second and I'll do just that. Bottled water to the rescue. Try to see if I can monitor this. Don't have my eyedropper anymore that I used to really measure my water additions with. Ooh, that made it sweeter. Now I'm getting uh, even some really bright grape notes. And it brought out a lot of vanilla when I added water to this. Yeah, that is very smooth. Once you take it down off the 50% ABV, there's a lot more of a softness to it. And I'm getting more of an like a, a brighter fruit on the taste now, more like apples and pears. 
And I actually really like the nutty finish. It leaves you with a little bit of that cinnamon and a little bit of the uh, fruit flavors, an earthy nutty taste at the end. So overall, I'm pretty impressed so far with this, but that's me. I'd love to know your thoughts about it. Have you had this particular expression from Glenn Grant? If not, have you had anything that's similar from them? Now I'm trying to remember all the times that I actually enjoyed a Glenn Grant and I did get to stop the distillery. We did get to try a few of their expressions there. None of them were the 15. I can't remember the actual ones. I think it was more like a, a 12 and one of their uh, unique bottlings the Aberalis or something like that. And I do remember getting to at least look at their whiskeys at one of the World of Whiskey shows or one of the whiskey shows I went to in San Francisco. But the flavor profiles just aren't familiar enough to me. I haven't had them enough times. But I am really enjoying this 15. So I'm curious about anyone's experience with Glen Grant and are any of their expressions like daily drinks for you? Are they your favorites? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you. Cheers. Now, add a little water, really opens it up. <laughs>